Welcome to our channel. Imagine if Wi-Fi users connecting to your hotspot could get a notification on their phones that would take them to your venue's website, allowing you to engage with the user and present them information about the venue. This is exactly what's enabled by the Captive Portal API, which uses DHCP option 114 and is used for discovering the Captive Portal API endpoint. Using this API, we can specify a parameter called Venue Info URL, which can point to our venue's website and gives a unique opportunity to the network owner to present helpful content to the user, like showing them information, entertainment, maps, and so on. In this video, we'll see how we can configure this on a Microtech router. In order to set it up, the router needs to have a valid TLS certificate. In this example, we have a wildcard certificate that we are going to upload to the Microtech router. This is the certificate file. It's a combination of the certificate and the private key all combined in one file. We are going to upload this file to the router. Then we will go to system certificates and we will import this file. The trusted option needs to be checked. You can see that we have a wildcard certificate for our domain, which is splashnetworks.co. And the name of the certificate is cert underscore key dot pem underscore zero. Now we are going to set up our hotspot by going to IP hotspot. We'll click on hotspot setup. The interface is going to be bridge in our case. We'll just click next a few times. And when we need to select a certificate, we will select the file that was created earlier. Cert underscore key dot pem underscore zero. We'll then click on next a couple of times. In DNS name, we will enter a DNS host name for our router. In this case, we are using haplite.splashnetworks.co. Now, the DNS entry for this hostname needs to exist. We can see that our router has the WAN IP of 192.168.200.32. So, we have created the corresponding DNS entry for haplite.splashnetworks.co and it points to 192.168.200.32. Now, the hotspot setup is complete. We will configure the remaining settings. We'll go to walled garden IP list and we'll add the IP address of our external captive portal server. In order to set up the hotspot correctly, we need to upload a file called login.html to the router. We have covered this process in detail in another video as well. You'll find its link in the description. So we'll download the file and we'll open it in a text editor. Then we will replace its contents like this. The hostname of our external captive portal is given here. We will delete the existing login.html file and we will upload the new file to the router. Now to set up the captive portal API endpoint, Microtech uses a file called api.json. So we'll download it and we can see it in a text editor. We need to add an entry for the venue info URL like this and it should point to the website of our venue to which we want users to be able to connect after completing their captive portal process. We'll delete the existing api.json file and upload this updated file to the router. The final step is that we'll go to IP DHCP and in options we'll add a new option. The code should be option 114 and the value should be given like this. It consists of HTTPS followed by our hostname followed by a slash API. And all of this needs to be in single quotes. We'll click on force and then we'll click OK to save it. In option sets, we'll create a new option set and give a name to it. In options, we'll select the option that we just created. Then we'll go to DHCP and in the default configuration, we'll select the option that we just created in the last step. We can do a packet capture on Wireshark to see that DHCP option 114 is being given out to users on the Wi-Fi network. Once this is set up, when your users complete the captive portal authorization process, they'll get this type of notification on their phone for as long as they're connected to your Wi-Fi. Tapping it will take them to the website of your venue. It's a great way for engaging with your users and providing them helpful and informational content about the venue.
If you want to set this up for your business, please get in touch with us. We create guest Wi-Fi solutions for clients globally. We'll be happy to be of service to you. We hope you found this video useful. Thanks and have a nice day.